All right, farm ranch here. We're uh, wrapping up the spring wheat harvest in wherever this place is. Got some things that needs to be unloaded. See, we only got uh, this field and the one field. This is the field I only run one on. This is easier. I can try maybe. Now I got the 5.6 meter header. I'm sure I tried to, but mine's on here. But fairly small enough that it just wraps up <clears throat> while while other fields are being wrapped up. So really, no big deal to just run one. Let me get this guy unloading, and then we'll talk. So yeah, so we've had a had a huge spring load of wheat here. No, barley, sorry, on this field. Um, so we've got a few fields, if you've been paying attention on my non-commentary videos. It's been too busy to talk all the time. So yeah, so sort of this one. So these are the fields we own. And we currently got two combines running as the last of these. And then uh, one more field, we got three planters running. I picked up one more of the articulated massive Ferguson's to do the harrowing much faster. Because uh, with four combines running, it's easy to get behind on moving the tractors from field to field, so that do prioritize keeping the combines running. So with uh, three of those ready to harrow, I can keep the rest of that and get ready to plant. I could at this point take one of those, run another planter, but I'm already running three planters, and that's kind of enough. So see, I got one waiting right here. I want to get a little bit more done in here before I start having these plenty ahead. So yeah, so we got one guy plop, pairing right here. We got two guys planting, and I think they're planting barley again here. This guy is planting soybeans. So we're going to plant soybeans on these fields to barley again. And I'm going to be honest, I messed up. And that's why there's barley, because I forgot to change the planter. And I'm like, well, that works. I got two combines running these four fields, two running these four fields. So they don't necessarily need to be the same. The only reason they're the same is to make life easier on me, the farmer. So yeah, so we got one John Deere 30, 10, 20, running planter here. Four of these same combines. This guy just waiting. We can probably start him at this point, I think. It's field 86, hero. You yeah, can always stop him if he it's causing a problem. But with two combines, you know, they eat in fairly well, even though they're much slower than the tractor is. All right. This guy is wrapping up this field and then he'll be done. Uh, this combine, we just got it parked here. So the combine running on by itself will drive back to this field when it's done. This guy's got to go empty as soon as this combine is emptied. This guy is waiting on this field, but that's not ready yet. We'll set it ready. So yeah, so I, I mean, I can't wait to get a little bit bigger combines. You know, the problem is to really make up for this, I need like seven meter header to really make up for going down to less or fewer combines. Again, we could do another step up already with a bigger tank of these or hoppers on these. It's less stressful, but even bigger would make it even less stressful. Um, then I could run more combines. So it's, it's they're trade-offs, right? So you go up to a bigger combine, you get a bigger hopper, then you get like, you know what? I can really run much bigger header, but then they fill up quick again because you got a bigger header. So 
wind mine getting something like we just can see how big are these things. I can't remember, like almost 5,000, I think. Yeah, almost 5,000. I wouldn't mind like 7,000 hopper and then just run the same head just to slow things down. But that means I could run more combines to cover more fields without moving too much. All right, so we got this guy here. I think we got every single equipment we have actually doing something. Except we got one of these waiting. We got six tractors, two trucks, and four harvesters. What we do need is go change in these rollers. So let's take a look at that. Because we're gonna we're gonna upgrade these to be bigger rollers. That's kind of what I want to show today. Because I don't think I've really showed this. So the progress is harvest plants. Something new blocked. Man, this one, just when it narrows down here, this thing always gets stuck out here. And probably fix that by going one more round. But, ah, you steal. Should be okay the rest of the field. Get around there, you lazy truck. Of course, also getting some bigger trailers would make this less stressful. Like, I wouldn't mind having this, but same capacity, but with one bigger trailer. That way, just less aiming around corners or whatnot. All right, that's taken care of. Waiting, waiting. Oh, where's my truck? Right there. So, of course, with barley, we're getting a lot of yield, so it fills up quick. So, it being so much easier to harvest. Started to look a lot at a map just to keep track of what's going on. So the green is planted. This is of course not our field. We're planting tree fields. We got three fields basically ready to plant. Then we got one that's being aired. So we'll move probably please this plant over here and this guy maybe down here. Let's see how this guy's doing by the time we get there. Yeah, so see, this guy's done. So he's got really no field to go to tomorrow harrowing, so that's good. So then we go see. Oh. As I said it's hard to move these things from field to field as they go. Yeah, you know, when they need to be emptied so often. So instead of tabbing through all the equipment, we're just going to go like this, this guy. I'm going to drive him back to the farm. And then we're going to pick up a roller and he's going to start rolling.
mean, it's going to take some coordination here. And your roller guy, he might be going back and forth a little bit to tell you what is done. So this their field is ready. And right now, it's really only that one field by itself. I think that's ready. Yeah, you'll probably start rolling this field. Still, yeah, we can only do two laps if I do that. So that's not going to work. I need to pick up a chisel plow. So let's see. Yeah, I think easiest to just wait on that one. That way we can just continue going. And so I got the rollers. And this one is wait. Is that one I want? I could do that one. I need a power on the 1250s to run that. Yeah, nine and a half meter, that would make this go much faster. So let's do that. I'm gonna make sure that this tractor has the full power. So we're gonna upgrade those to the turbos. So turbos are good. Now with this wide, we can't really start this until they're done planting in the field, but it should go that much faster that we pick up one more of these as planters get done. I think we should be good. So we're just going to leave that guy there for now. <laughs> All right. Make sure that everything is running. See, he got to run this turn last time. It's just that first time when he hits the change here. All right. This guy, we can stop. He's pretty much done. You know what? This is the final field, so I'm going to cheat. I bought like a sale point here. <laughs> so, <coughs> this has been time going into the trailer. And that sell, we're just going to sell it. And this guy is actually done. And I wonder if this field 85, what is growing there? And is it ready? All right, it's ready. What's actually growing there? Is that soybeans? You know what? You know what this means, right? You all know what this means. Let's get this unloaded first. I think it's time to buy another field. I'm going to admit, we are pushing it as far as what we can do with this generation of, of machinery, but I assume, you know, I don't know nothing about this. I'm a simple farmer. That machinery is going to get much more expensive and bigger. Oh, this is, forgot that this guy needs to be emptied. Well, let's see what we can get off this combine first. Maybe we can keep it going. Come on. Oh, fine. Oh, that's why. And there's not going to be much this guy's going to get done, but anything is better than nothing. So let's get this going, and then we'll run that empty. And then we're going to go buy another field.
So honestly, that's kind of the way I do it, buying field. If something I can easily harvest when I'm done is close to where the combines are, just buy another field. Of course, that means that each episode, since I haven't, you know, machinery hasn't grown much the last four or five years, means that it's taken a lot longer time. I see that combine already. Let's do the load. Let's go in here. Get by field 85. If I have money for it. Okay. So we're going to buy that. And then we are going to go to one of these. See, there is a nice road here. I can get a little bit bigger equipment here, maybe. I wish there would be on the maps for this game. I wish there would be better signs of where these roads go. Like, where can I enter these fields? Because sometimes it is not very obvious. I'll tell you that much. All right, he's up there. We're going to go 5 and 5.6. We'll go down a little bit on that. So this field 85. Oh my. Same course. 85. 5.6 meter. Two combines. All right. That's going. And then we'll pull this out of the way. Oops. See if I had bigger combines, I could, you know, run one combine on each of these fields it would work as well. All right, so now we need to pick up my truck here. Don't know how much I need to finish. I think just a truck might not be enough, so we'll take the entire entire fleet out. said so this is where it would be nice to have just one trailer to get you these roads but I'd be running back and forth like crazy whoa crash and burn yeah do private quit I hit back up like this all right let's do that again You can try to come in from the front. That makes this work much better. So okay, I think it has room. If I, yep, I think that should work. All right. Um, now I think we're just going to wait on that one. Wait on that one. This guy is almost done over there. He's now in post or done. This, then we're going to put another combine torque. Hey. Combine field 85. It's going to go on the right. Oh, 
grabbed the wrong one. I was like, where are my guidelines? All right. Let's see how this thing is doing over here. Yeah, see, good soybeans, not really as much. No, I, I didn't, can't remember if this was fertilized or not. It was not, because it would have been the dark. So we're getting less yields than what we could have. That's okay. I'm fine with that. All right. That's field 99. All right. So field so field 97. Yeah, I mean, obviously the tool that really needs upgraded to is the planter. Yeah, no doubt. Um, I wouldn't even mind the same width as this, but if, you know, direct seeding should become available soon. And being able to do the same one without tanking the hair up first would have saved me a lot of machinery. A lot of driving in the field, which is also why you prefer to do it that way. All right, so in other words, um, this field right here is ready for harrowing. This one should be almost done, or ready for plowing. This one is almost ready for plowing. He should actually be done one, one more down. going on with that big field. Okay, that's new plant is not fertilized. Okay, so what's actually growing here? Oat. So we could buy that too. I think that's going to be that field is huge. We would need like three of these combines running that field to make it any sort of reasonable time frame to finish. We can start this guy, get that going. Might have to stop that after two laps, I'm not sure. Let's keep an eye on it. Few more minutes. This guy's done. But I think I don't think it's going to be able to fit all of it in one tank, so we're just going to go in here, intercept and offload, so it doesn't dig itself out. Just a quick dash. Put that in the back if possible. Yep. All right, that should be plenty of room for that for the rest of field. Hey, stop. We should get the nope, we create the field for it. Job for it. Great job. Nine and a half meters. We'll do whoa. 
What happened there? Let's try that again. Great job. We'll do three headlines on that. And this will be field 133. We gotta go ahead and clean these up. All right, get that going. The next line of business is this guy. We need him planting. And tell you, worsting with those rollers, you get into a little bit of a wet spot, you get moisture on them, and the field after it is dry, <laughs> and then it just packs with dirt. And then you had to go out there, usually to find a screwdriver or something, and you had to go and clean up every one of those rolls. Yeah, lots of fun. All right, you're going to prioritize getting the planter started here before we go offload. One of them is feel as it's finished. That one is not huge, fresh. Tell you, I need better counter steering. Yeah, we need to worry about this one first, I think. There we go. See, so he got almost two laps out running this field. Yeah, see, it would have worked just for the charge. That's okay. That'll be good. So, for those that wondered, I could have traffic turned on, but man, I can't imagine trying to move around with this equipment if I have traffic on these roads. So, we're going to pretend that this police has to say, hey, you can't drive around here far away. Sounds reasonable, right?
Right, so that's going well. That's going well. That's going well. This guy's probably going to need to be offloaded soon. So we'll just hang around here. Yeah, that tractor looks like it stopped. The battery is just out of my visuals and not getting updated, but that is a little suspicious. We'll just check on that as soon as we start offloading. That stopped. Did I like accidentally click on this or something? All right, let's see. So this guy, we can now park because we've done harvesting on this side of the farm. Mm -hmm. That there on the way. Okay, I think now it's time to move this combine. I'm going to take the chance to drive that all the way over to the other field. Don't know if any bigger combines will be available for next season. That's okay. We'll just have the dealer buy it where it is. So it's like a hey, frustration with this man versus like the Iowa Plains man. It's that damn lot of driving around. And, you know, on the open, big open maps, I can just set the combines to drive on the road itself. This one, not so much, because the, the tool that will drive it between fields will try to drive in the correct lane. Well, probably left lane on this map, but I don't think that would work. So for now, we are going to park this right up here. All right then. All right, let's take a look at the map again. We got the roller, we got two planters running here. Well, sorry. One hair running there, plant running here. So that should work out well. This guy should be done. This guy can take care of planting here. And that planter's done. We might bring that planter down here. Because there's a lot of can be a lot of fields here. We have one planter running here, and we got two fields basically ready. As you can see, this call it right here means that it's ready to be planted. All right, so things are definitely getting there.
really anything left down there to do? I don't think so. It's one of those overlap things he thinks it is. So we're going to cancel that right there. And these guys can get ready for this field. Is one ready to go here? Mm. Yeah, we'll start it and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Five, eight, four. All right. Uh, this is field eighty-five. Zero. Yeah, see, his roller being that wide, and you can run fairly fast make quick work of rolling. That's good. All right. Well, I think you all see what we're doing here. So I'm going to get off camera and finish the rest of uh, this season, and uh, I will see what happens. Talk to you all later.